Jenny Blackbird is angry. She has come to this rally protesting the verdict in the Tina Fontaine case. Fontaine was murdered in 2014. Raymond Comier was recently found not guilty in the murder. Against the violence against indigenous women. Blackbird has been active in fighting against injustice to indigenous people since the Oka crisis in the 1990s. Wake up call to, to really stand up and support the, uh, you know, our brothers and sisters that are our siblings that were fighting to assert their sovereignty. Rallies like this one are important in drawing indigenous people together. According to Blackbird, we really need to keep supporting each other and then finding good allies that will stand with us. Tina Fontaine was in a foster care, according to Lauren Brew Waters. There's more children in children's aid now, indigenous children, than there was in the residential schools. So it's a different type of residential school. So Canada has just changed their tactic. The Waters says there is not enough support no from the government. A single parent can maybe get between six and seven hundred dollars a month living on a reserve to raise their child. To bring but if they take that child off the reserve and give it to a non-Indigenous family, a foster care, that foster care parent gets eleven hundred dollars a month. Ceremony is is uh, from what I've been taught is a friendship dance. So it's showing unity. You know, you're holding hands, and there's not indigenous people and indigenous people holding hands. The federal budget sets aside about $5 billion to improve child welfare, health care, clean water, and to support indigenous communities.